afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching the broadcast. Okay, I'm trying to be on double duty here. <clears throat> Happy Monday. And if you're watching the replay, uh, welcome. We thank God for you as well. We want you to share this out. Sharing is caring. We are doing part two of types of prayer on today on Monday's Motivation. My name is Coach Mona and I'm here each and every Monday morning with Monday's Motivations where I teach biblical information uh, for spiritual transformation. So our whole goal and aim is for us to continue to grow uh, in our faith, to grow spiritually. And so that is um, the purpose of my Monday's broadcast. And so I am teaching out of my book, type Types of Prayer, <laughs> Journal to My Prayers. It has a new cover now. Journal to My Prayers. And so we are finishing up Types of Prayer. Last week we gave you part one with the first five. And then today we will finish up with the... Uh, last five that I have in the book so yes so we are excited about that if you would like to purchase the ebook version the link is in the description if you're watching on Facebook and also on Amazon the link is there and if you would like to be a blessing to me you can also um, sew into uh, into um, into I'm losing my words <laughs> I was up too late. You can sow a seed in my life <laughs> if these, these teachings have been a blessing to you. Okay, so you can sow a seed financially or you could just be a blessing and purchase um, purchase the book. And I still have my new, my new release, Motivations. Uh, that new release, that book is um, still available. And as well as you, if you go on Amazon, you'll see all of my published work. So let's get to it. I'm behind schedule. Mm-hmm. I'm behind schedule. So types of prayer. So the sixth type of prayer that uh, that we have is intercession. Intercession. Now to intercede means to say a prayer on the behalf of someone else. So if I was to pray for you, <clears throat> that would be interceding for you. So intercession is a request. A request that is made on someone else's behalf. My scripture verse I have here is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, this is uh, Paul speaking to Timothy, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. And so I chose that scripture verse and to just single out, enter session so god commands us uh to pray for other people and in romans chapter 8 verse 26 and 27 um we read uh the bible teaches that when we when we don't know what to pray that the spirit makes intercession for us for believers so know that the holy spirit that lives within each and every believer in our heart when we don't know what to say that the the spirit the holy spirit intercedes on our behalf it says with the with the groans and all of that and then in hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 teaches us that jesus intercedes for us so he is our high priest and we know that when we pray whether we pray uh for ourselves or for or in intercession for someone else that we know that Jesus is our mediator, but Jesus also is our intercessor. He prays for us as well. And that's in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Our next type of prayer, number seven, is repentance. A prayer, the prayer of repentance. And my scripture verse that I have here is Matt, Matthew, Mark chapter 1, verse 15. And it reads, the time has come, he said, the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. Repent and believe the good news. Now, there, are, uh, I have three definitions for the word repentance. The first definition um, in certain verses of uh, passage of scripture means to change your mind. Means to change your mind. And this change of mind is where you have remorse for something that you did wrong. <clears throat> 
And we find this in the life of Judas. Judas who be betrayed Jesus. But the difference with Judas' uh, type of repentance, his repentance didn't reach the heart. So he only had remorse for what he did. And we know that he did end up um, taking his own life because of that, re that remorse. The second uh, definition for repentance is to have a change of mind and purpose. A change of mind and purpose. And so with that, this is after you have received knowledge of of the gospel and your you know your heart is convicted and, and you're guilty you feel the guilt of your sin and so that changes you know your mind and your purpose so in that in that um definition you know you you're you're feeling your guilt of your own sin and then the last one as i was studying this out it it contains the second one, which is a change of mind and purpose. And it adds, what did I write number three? It's a change in your mind, purpose, and in your life. And at this level of repentance, this is where your sins are forgiven. Right? Your sins are forgiven. And this is true repentance. This is where true repentance takes place. And second... Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10 it talks about godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation so this is when you truly uh, are sorrowful and remorseful you have a change of heart um, you acknowledge your, your sin and your guilt right and so that is true repentance when you're at that level of level 2 and 3 remember the first the first uh, repentance is what Judas experienced. He felt remorse, but that that was as far as it went. He didn't forgive himself, and he, um, we know that he took his life. And so, at these levels of repentance, at that this last these last levels is where we acknowledge uh, our own sin. We are aware of it. Once we hear the gospel, and we uh, have that guilty conscience, so to speak. This is the level where our sin bothers us. You know, this is a good place for each and every believer to be uh, in this level of repentance. Our sin bothers us. In Psalms 119 verse 128, it talks about hating every false way. So when our sin bothers us. And so we always want to have a heart of repentance. So we continually strive to live a, a holy life meaning set apart uh, for God walking in the direction and in the plan and the will of God and you can read Psalms 119 verse uh, 105 that God's word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto our path um, so repentance we want to have uh, a repented heart when we're praying okay supplication number eight supplications Scripture verse Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and it reads be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God. Supplications is when we're asking for some some things that we are in need of. It's a petition. It's a need. Okay? It's a need. And again in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 uh, what Paul says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, and intercessions of and giving of thanks be made for all men. So we are to pray prayers of supplication, supplications for all men, for all mankind. And that means praying for their needs. What is it that they are in need of? What is it that God needs to supply? The root word of supplication is what? Supply. Our number nine type of prayer is the prayer of thanksgiving. The prayer of thanksgiving. And we know the familiar scripture verse in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 
So thanksgiving prayers is a prayers of uh, gratitude, of being grateful. It says in everything, in everything we are to give thanks. It doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter what has happened to us. If we know that God loves us and he cares for us and we know that he's in control of our life and, and we are uh, in his will, that whatever we go through, he is aware, but he's not, uh, um, he knows how we feel. He can uh, uh, feel what we feel. The Bible teaches us that Jesus knows how we feel. He's felt every emotion that we experience, whether it's good or bad. But in all things, give thanks. He says, because this is the will of God, that nothing's taking God by surprise. The enemy's only doing what God will allow him to do. Amen. And yes, sometimes we bring things upon ourselves. But know that in everything, we are to give thanks. Knowing that God loves us, that he's in control, and that he cares, and that we are in his will. So we want to be grateful and thankful for all that God has done, all that God has brought us through. All that God has taken us to. Amen. And lastly, uh, is in the spirit. We want to pray in the spirit. Now, there are debates on it, uh, this one, but I believe uh, the Bible. Okay, God's word is true. And praying in the spirit means praying in an unknown tongue. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, Paul says, my spirit prayed, but my understanding is unfruitful. First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 14 so when you pray in the spirit in an unknown tongue uh, you've heard it probably called also in your heavenly language it is the same as a foreign language you don't understand it's, it's just like now if someone spoke if i spoke spanish and you don't understand spanish that's an unknown tongue to you okay and so praying in the spirit is direct communication uh, with God because you're praying spirit to spirit we know that God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in what in spirit and in truth so praying in the spirit is a direct prayer that goes directly to God when you pray in the spirit this prayer is not intercepted uh, or filtered out by Jesus we know that Jesus is our mediator right but when you pray in the spirit there's no need for Jesus to filter those prayers out because it's the perfect prayer it's the perfect prayer it surpasses our understanding a lot of times we don't understand it god can give you the interpretation of it uh it is one of the spiritual gifts of the nine gifts of the spirit that we study in uh first corinthians <clears throat> as well as interpretation of, of uh praying in tongues so it surpasses our understanding but we do it and we do it by faith and paul says in this verse he says you know I pray in an unknown tongue. My spirit is praying. He says, but my understanding is unfruitful, meaning I don't know what I'm praying, so I, I don't understand um, what I'm saying, so I can't benefit from what's being said. But he says, but, he says, I pray in the spirit more than you are. I, you know, he, he's not uh, saying not to, but he's talking uh, when you study it out as far as speaking in tongues in a public service. When you need to be ministering to the people, they need to be fruitful. They learn their understanding needs to be fruitful. That means you need to speak in a language that they understand, okay? And and that's to keep order in the church as well. And so again, we are to pray in the spirit. It's a direct prayer, communicating with God. It goes straight to God. It's spirit to spirit. It's the perfect prayer. It surpasses our understanding. We don't have to understand it, but we, when we pray, we pray by faith, and we know that it is the perfect prayer of God, okay? And it is one of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit found in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, I believe. And so our five types of prayer for today were intercession, repentance, supplications, thanksgiving, and praying in the spirit and so i pray that you have um took your notes i pray that you share this out share this with um someone else on your timeline share this as well replay viewers on periscope and um even if you're watching the replay on youtube or instagram so sharing is caring we want to um 
help spread the word of God and, and help others be benefited. So we will see you on next Monday. I'm, a, I'm going to pray us out uh, a brief prayer and um, pray you have a blessed Monday. And I'm going to head to the workplace. So Father God, we thank you for this day. For this is the day that you have made. We want to rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you for this teaching on today. God, we pray that you continue to equip us uh, in your word. Equip us to pray. Father God, according to your will, according to your way, that we will pray on behalf of others, Father God. God, we just lift up um, all those who will watch this broadcast, who are watching live, and those who will watch the replay. We lift up each and every family. We, we lift up each and every family situation, God. God, you know everything that we stand in need of, God. So, God, we pray that you would just have your way in our life. We ask for you to forgive us of our sins, creating us a clean heart, and renew the right spirit within us, God. And lead us in the way everlasting. So God, this is my earnest prayer, God. Again, continue to just bless your people on today. Order our steps according to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. And we thank God for the victory. And we will see you on next Monday with Monday's Motivation. Alrighty, um, is anyone on? Look, sit up. Okay, it's two people on periscope and then hey donna hey renee and my sis donna is on here on facebook so we will talk to you guys soon have a blessed day toodles share this out sharing is caring